Yeah. In singles, I mean, yeah. And I feel like Mago's another one of those guys where, like, he has days where, like, he's unbeatable. And then he has other days where he just can't really seem to perform. I think it's, you're right. It, he's just one of those guys. But, like, when he's on a good day, yeah, forget about it. He's ridiculous. Round one. All right, right. So this is going to be the first one. Yep. Loser's final here. Dogura Yurian versus Mago Karin. Oh, starts out with everybody's favorite button, Stand Fist, Crush Counter. But Mago responds with a back throw and a Crush Counter of his own. Okay, nice throw here. The meaty that time, and that's going to be stun for Mago. Builds a little bit of meter. Reset coming up. I yeah. got it. Yeah, in frame perfect tenko, nice stuff. Oh, but they could all melt away. Yep. It could all go away right now. Great block. There it is. The mirror is up. So let's take a look. He was looking for a V reversal. It did not come. Yep. Grape, look at this defense. Excellent choices. Look at not for long. Oh, man. He had made, he made <laughs> so many good blocks. He did not V reversal when there was a bait for it. He didn't take the throw bait. And then he just couldn't keep it up. Great stuff there. Dogra putting up the shield. And just catching Mago with that clean combo. All right. Nice answer with that stand roundhouse. If you can shut down that Fierce from Yurian, that's a big part of it. If you can whiff punish it consistently. That's important because you know he's looking for it, but gets it anyway. Okay, doesn't even try to anti-air, just sits there and blocks. Yeah, it seemed like he might have been pumping for it, but it didn't come. Yep. Oh, the <laughs> delay there, good stuff. EX, yeah. Corner carry. Okay. Dogura just challenging a little bit, not not very heavily. And that's yeah. something we've seen from him a lot. He's willing to play patiently and turn things on when he gets the V-Trigger. Oh, yeah. He knows the strength of it. Uh -huh, he's got that armor ready as well. Wow. Yep, used it up now. Low forward activation. He's one mix up away. In fact, maybe not. Oh, he didn't build super. Oh, he didn't get it. If that had been super, that would have been it. Yeah, that was a pixel away. Now he can whip punish, though. Stand strong. Oh, or EX. That's fine. That e works, too. EX tackle. Throws it out there. So it was another one of those rounds where Dogura, oh, yeah. he plays away a little bit. He bides his time a little bit. And then oh, yeah. he found exactly the right moment to get things going. Great stuff. By the way, I looked it up, and Mago got third in his pool. Oh, he got third in his pool. He, okay. uh, first and second of his pool were Xiao Bao and Ricky Ortiz. Okay. Every pool was crazy. Every pool was ridiculous. There was at least three or four extremely strong players in every pool. Okay, so we are going to get Momochi coming up next. <laughs> Look at Dogra's face. <laughs> Man. Uh, <laughs> shaking his head. Not happy to see Echo Fox's own Momochi. So looking for Ken here. Yep, it's going to be Ken Urien. Let's see. Momochi. Another guy who early on in Street Fighter 5's lifespan was doing a ton of damage. But recently not getting the results I feel like he should be achieving. Like he's, a, he's definitely one of the all-time greats. Oh, for sure. For sure. But, um, He did make it out of his pool, and he made he made a decent run, I think, in losers. Yeah, but uh, didn't end up working out. Okay. Do you know where he placed? He lost the punk. Actually, he he got second in his pool, and then lost immediately right after the punk. Oh really? Oh yeah. man. He got two would by punk. Oh. Round one. All right, so let's check it out here. What? What a start. <laughs> Gutsy back, man. Back throw right off the bat. Okay. He loves that stamp fierce. Yes. And he uses it really well. Yeah, he does. I like the spacing of it. Yep. The patience of it. Yeah, he doesn't overdo it. He doesn't always cancel it either. You can you can hit confirm it. You can block confirm it. I guess it's better accurate. Yeah. But he doesn't always do it. You never know if the opponent's going to be in the air. All right. Okay. Great cross cut DP. Yep, charging up that hard punch, keeping it plus on block. Mm -hmm. yeah, and again, after that can come cancel into fireball or delay fireball or delay into safe uh, tackle. Such a good button. But Momochi is always playing the slow style. Oh, wow. Guess the counter hit confirmed. That was Dogura, but now Momochi, hard tatsu combo. Yeah, he had, he, just, he had just turned it on. He had dashed. He had woken up with a button. Oh, he had wow. really changed the style. Here he is. Great conversion off the tatsu. But he knows Dogra is a threat, so Momochi... Yeah. He's got nothing, but why? Aegis, Reflector, oh, okay, just gets a throw. 
Aegis is definitely a threat right now. Yes. And he, there it is. Patience for a moment. He has a result. He knows exactly what's coming. That may be it. Gonna pop him up. Yep. No. Oh, a strange um, interaction there. Yeah, it hit kind of kind of weirdly. Wow, Dogra. <laughs> Using that headbutt, that whiff headbutt, just to bait something, and it pays off. All right. Wow, EX Tatsu doesn't pay off. That's a bar wasted. Right. And back to this patient mid-range game. Dogra is so good at knowing when you want to take that slight walk forward. Yes. You have to. As the opponent, you have to be moving around. Yeah, you have to. And it's very tough to react to EX Tackle. Uh-huh. Super fast. Same, same thing with, like, you know, Boxer's EX dash straight. Same things. All right. Fear of Asul. I like it. Doesn't want that plus pressure. I don't think that was the safe spot. The moment you knew it. Yeah. Hit forward throw. Ken loops on the way. That time does the jab. He's got to keep this going. No, instead, Dogra gets the hit. Will he convert? Patience. That could have been something big. That could have been, yeah, disastrous. Activates. Oh. Look Patience. at this. Oh. Not enough. EX, it Yo. doesn't do it. Crank. Ugh, the patience for Mochi. Oh, man. This He's caught. He's yeah. caught. He can't jump. He's going to be an anti-air. Okay, he puts himself in the corner. All right. Wow. Dogra with that walk back. Crouching short. Very interesting to see Dogura put himself Yuri into the win. corner rather than maintaining <laughs> that that cage like he had. He had the anti air. He had the spot on screen where he could have dealt with jump or ground, and he went in, mm. and it was the right call. Yeah, he went in. Normally, it'd be a very risky move. You know, we saw Momochi display that cross cut DP earlier on in the set. You know, he could have done that. Like, but Momochi obviously looking a little bit shook up towards the end there. Dogura, a very unpredictable player. Yes. So. <laughs> Hi. So we got Eita here. Going to see another Ken. But a very, very different style of Ken at that. Oh, yeah, those these two, Momochi and Eita, are on opposite sides of the coin. Of course. Very, very clashing styles. Momochi much more about slow, patient stuff, looking for patient hit confirms, biding his time. Yep. And Eita is just a wild man. Yep. Running he everywhere, jumping everywhere. Oh, yeah, he's going to play his game. He's going to force his way in. Unpredictable mm -hmm. dragon punches. Just, he's a funky guy. Yeah, I mean, and, I think... I feel like he's one of the few people to have really made that style work. It's a hard style to be consistent with. Yeah. But he does it. I, mean, I think I saw him yesterday do like a uh, stand roundhouse on block into like EXDP a few times and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> why not? <laughs> okay, ready. Of course, the fundamentals are there as well. We saw that oh, beautiful yeah. dragon punch anti air. Forward throw. Ready. Oh, that counter hit conversion off the jabs. Yeah, that was, that was gorgeous. That was so nice. Oh, man. Wow, glass shattering all over the place. Nice frame trap. Oh, beautiful stuff. It's not enough. One touch now. Yep. That's he's gonna, enough. He's going to back throw. No, doesn't. Okay, he doesn't risk it. But he did do a good job of, of jump fierce into dragon punch. Get some bar. For a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more meter than if he had just done you know, jump fierce into regular button. Yeah. Oh. Okay, the jump timing. <laughs> it was a very similar opening, but just later for Dogura. Yeah, that was massive. And now the, the corner control, Dogura gets the forward throw. I feel like is going to be one of the harder guys to keep in the corner, though. Although, Dogura doing a great job. He Don't ended he... that combo. I, I like the slide. Will this kill? They actually may. If he uses... Yeah, oh, no, no reset. Oh. What? The Aita against Aita? So, he gambled using one bar against three, and it paid off. That was so sick. <laughs> he went in against Ata with the old Ata meaty EX Invincible. Dogara knew that Ata was going to press something. In that situation in 355, when your life's low, you know, your stun's high, you, you, you're going to press something. Great choice there from Dogara. Just too far there. Yeah. Wow. Into the corner. We've seen a lot of corner play. It's ah. stuck. No EXDP wake up from Eita. When's it coming? Oh. It, will it come? Does Dogura believe it? Look at He's doing like a delay block forward throw. Yeah. So he keeps the corner control. So sick. Super. That's it. Wow. Dogura just shutting down Eita. When you, do you see Eita get caged in the corner like that? Yeah. Those little delay blocks into the throw in, like win. on Eita's wake up. Just in case he threw out that EXDP. It was so sick. Nice work. Yeah, Showing okay. why he's in winner's top eight of singles. Oh, yeah. Somebody else in the top eight is Itabashi Zangief, although in oh, losers. Oh, man. And this is a matchup that Itabashi Zangief is uh, very, very confident in. I mean, we've seen him going back and forth with Nemo. Yeah. It's, 
a matchup that I don't feel is is lopsided. You know, it, when it first came out, I felt like it was a tough one for Zangief. But as yeah. the game developed and we all figured stuff out, it doesn't seem like that to me. It doesn't, I, it, I, I really agree. feel like it's an even matchup. I agree. It definitely, uh, yeah, it doesn't really go, it doesn't sway in one player's favor. Yeah. And the way Itabashi plays, he's he's so fast and unpredictable <laughs> yeah. that he turns matchups that probably are still tough into just steamrolls. Absolutely. I mean, we saw in the singles yesterday that very, very close finish with uh, Filipino champ. Yes. In a, in a matchup that is traditionally not great for Zangief, you know? There are some Dawson players who now think that Keith wins. <laughs> that, that, that's going a little bit far for me, but yeah, I, there are yeah. some people who say that. I don't know about that, but yeah. I feel like he can definitely... He, he has to get in one time. If he gets in one time and makes the right reads, like Itabashi is so good at doing, yeah. it can just be over. And he can definitely do that against Furion as well. Oh, no doubt. Itabashi, long-time Zangief player. Did see him playing some T-Hawk in the Street Fighter 4 tournament yesterday. Oh, yeah? That was, that was really cool to see. Definitely likes his big bodies. So far, this is the Dogura show. Yeah, the, the Dogura has just been steamrolling. And this is why he's in winner's top eight today. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's not it's not big, right? But it's if it can at all convince Geef to slow down on the jabs, then it's useful. Oh, that's massive. No jumps at all from Itazan. He is the ground control monster. Absolutely. Solid conversion into the Lariat. Corner control now. Fierce, yes. Wow. Gotta watch for EX. Oh, anti-EX! EX, yes, Yo! please! Stun, that's it right there. Look at that. Did he jump at all? I think that was just forward movement. It was controlling the ground. Jeez. It was controlling the air with anti-airs. It was perfect. Massive. That was such a sick anti-air conversion into the EX. That was, yes. That was madness. It's a bashy. Dash. It didn't work. Dash again. This is what I'm saying. He just has to get you one time. But that was a light one, so he doesn't get much off that. All right. Back throw. Nice choices here. Dogura. But you have to make the read on Zangief so many times. He's got the life. Uh, he, he, he can afford to take risks. Yes. Okay, here we go. The reset. Nice headbutt. All right. EXs are used well, though now with Super on deck, Zangief can punish that on block. Oh, yeah. Oh, EX. This is massive. What's it going to be from Itabashi? Oh, uh, one more. Another one. Either way, in fact, this could be for the round. Let's see what it does. What's it going to be? Activates. Plus on block. Oh, EX. Great. No, I'm surprised he didn't bring out trigger right there. Here it is. Here it is, yeah. Patience, patience. The shield. Okay, it's coming towards Itabashi so slowly. Oh! Oh! I can't believe he did that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you're, not, you're not plus on block after the spin. He just brought it out because he expected the dash. Genius stuff from Itazan. I think that Aegis Reflector might have uh, trimmed Zangief's beard a little bit. That was <laughs> right in front of his face. Jeez. He did SPD. <laughs> he did it just at what, the right time. What a wild man. I oh, love man. it. Great stuff. He's already uh, always ready for the spin. Always <laughs> ready. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this guy not smiling. Yeah. Like, this guy is such a happy dude, and he's really friendly. Itabashi just having fun out here while making people's life a misery of Geef. So now we have Goichi coming up to play. He's got a couple of characters that I think do well against Geef. He can play Chun. He can play Manat. Yeah, I feel like Manat. Especially, yeah. um, it's just it's hard for Geef to move forward. Yeah, for sure. She's got the buttons, you know. Her V trigger is is really really solid against Geef. So will it be Manat? It will indeed. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Yep. Although again, as he, you know, it happened when he was uh, against Amika. If he gets caught in the corner. It's over. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's done. It's, it's all about maintaining that active control in the first place. It's terrible. And, and, and being, in, being stuck in the corner against a grappler like Zangief is horrible, regardless of which character you're playing. But she has a terrible view reversal. She has yeah. nothing invincible, only super. She's, she's stuck. Yeah. All right. It starts out. But you can see the advantage of playing the character. She just has giant buttons. Look at this. Huge normals in the mid range. 10 seconds in, and he's already shown like three options that are godlike against Zangief. Yes. <laughs> so yes. good. That medium punch. Yeah, medium, roundhouse. There it is. Wow. Fierce from far. Look at these buttons. That Look at that. That's, and that crushes. That's so crazy. Oh, oh what back, is it called? That was so smart. Back throw against Zangief is disastrous. Just like that, yep. it's even. Oh, man. No. He, oh, it didn't work. Wow. Unfortunate there. He's got one more. Got it. No. Oh, boy. And that's I think on the orbs, that's dead. If he completes this combo, which... 
And he does. Go Ichi. Execution monster. Well, I like how Itabzan had the reset with the back grab. It all could have yeah. worked out for him. But. Back throw from Zangief is one of the worst throws in the game to take. Because you know you're in for something. Not quite. Go Ichi aware. Wow, and the reset. Itabashi forced to take these risks that he doesn't really want to take with Zangief. No. That, me that medium punch. It's very good. Look at this. And, and you're not you're not worth punishing that. No way. There's not much you can do. No. And now the orb's out as well. He's strong? Uh, Why? Is, is he dead? Yeah, I think he might have died. Uh, it's going to be close either way, and he's very close to stun as well. I don't think he's dead. Yeah, no, he's you're right. But any hit's going to do it. Strong will do it. Fierce will do it. Yep. Cannot afford anything. Oh, he actually was oh, in range! Oh, man. And, oh. He, look, that grab <laughs> didn't work because Goichi was hit. He was in hit stun for yep. the grab. So Not getting hit actually weird. saved his life. Yeah. Genius. Itabashi. Uh <laughs> <laughs> look, they're laughing it up. <laughs> Itabashi definitely got unfortunate there. I feel like if that V trigger went well for him, that could have been a reset situation into the game. Like, that could have been horrible for Goichi, but working out for him there. But now uh -huh. looking like a really, really horrible matchup for Zangief. He was doing some stuff there that. It is tough. Yeah, it was looking hard. It is, it is. So it's Moket coming up. I think this is a pretty good option. So many ways to get in, so much mobility with Rashid. Yeah, Rashid. Mm. Yeah, Moket. And it's, it, I mean, I, I don't know that anybody in the game corners the opponent better and faster than Rashid does. And yeah. I don't know that anybody in the game less wants to be in the corner than Manat does. <laughs> yeah, it's like we were saying, the options she has are so limited when she gets there. But um, let's check out him. Okay, Rashid. Another character which a lot of people feel is one of the strongest in the game right now. I've been, I'm here in top three for this, for this guy. What do you think? Uh, I felt he was the best throughout season two. Really? Yeah. I, I, I can definitely see it. This character I, is, is I don't think he's strong. OP. I don't think he's, like, absurd. Mm. But, yeah, that's... He's, he's definitely very strong. I think everybody, everybody says top tier, right? He's for sure top tier. Oh, for sure top tier. Some of the best corner control options in the game, I feel like Rashid has. Yes. So for Koichi, this is going to be all about maintaining screen control. Oh, that's not safe. Oh, yeah. That was definitely a very unsafe drill. Got punished for and it. And look at that. He's in the corner. All of a sudden, because of that unsafe drill, he is basically screwed. Not the place you <laughs> want to be against Rashid. Right. I mean, I mean, if you, if, you, if you try and jump out, the medium mixer will just put you back in the corner. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, the heavy mixer. Heavy right. mixer, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, okay, I like it. Backing okay. off. Comes back in. Very tough spot for Goichi. Activate. Yep. Activates, and this could be his way out. Yes. Oh, the setup. Once he jumps in, it's just a 50 50 over overhead low. They both work, they both combo. Oh, clean cross up from Goichi. Does not complete his combo, though. Oh, crush counter. He's very much in this. Oh, yeah. Moke wants to get something going. Yeah. Look at the pumping for Super. You can see that Goichi. <laughs> he just did it! You could see wow. he was. You could see the downs and the towards, right? You could yeah, see him bopping yeah, yeah. around. He was clearly <laughs> looking for it. Flashbacks of uh, <laughs> Bon Chan is three five four. The the bop, you know, the little <laughs> the buffer. Good stuff, Goichi. Wow. Nice work. He was he was cornered and he still survived. Oh yeah. So good stuff. Woo. Moke now has the corner for himself. Oh yeah. But he's been backing off a lot. Ah, oh, what a time to jump! Great jump in. The setup here. She got underneath. That was funky. I didn't see that again. Yeah. All right. But now Moke <sighs> harassing. That's that medium punch plus three on block. So good. Nice solid anti air. Goichi now. Being a bit more hesitant. Can he set something up? Oh, just walks up and throws. Moke was just scared of the V trigger itself. I'll say, yeah. Okay, not the worst situation. Only got hit once. Did not release any orbs. Orbs now? Yep, a couple Ooh. of them. Oh, look at this. He's. he's Building super, building super. If he finds one more reset, expect it. Oh, medium kick into the V trigger. <sighs> All right, I'm okay now. Pumping for super again is Goichi down there. If there's a mixer, if there's something he can react to, that's it. Oh, no doubt. And Moke knows it. Oh, he's worried. Yep. Oh, that wow. one. You think that was super? What was that count hit? <laughs> what was that supposed to have been? Yeah, I think he tried something. He tried something. Yeah, he was going for it. Fine. He's got this wry smile on his face, like, man, I screwed up. <laughs> All right, these buttons in the neutral now from Goichi. 
Yo, All the, right. the soul throw? Why are you jumping? He's making this matchup look a lot closer than I expected it, to be honest. I, I agree, actually. I expected Mucket to just kind of get in and steamroll, but yeah. it's not looking easy. Okay, here's the activation. Yeah, the forces the mix-up, forces the corner. The trigger is out. Oh, wow. Did you see that cross-up at the last second? No. Nah, he blocked that, yeah. Do uh -huh. the work. Now she's in trouble. Yep, this is not looking good. Goichi needs to find a way out of this corner. He's just, he just wants to block, though. He doesn't want to use that bad V-reversal. That has a lot of recovery. No, it's not worth it. Save it for trigger if you can. No activation. No, Very yeah, surprising. I'm, I'm surprised. All right, there it is. Didn't let the anti-air one go. Let him go. Oh, he may have gotten that's it. it. Did he steal it? Yo, Goichi, man, that. Goichi holds it together. High fives all round. Moke. Oh, man, oh, Moke. Sad a, guy on the left side of your screen. Yeah, that's a bit of a heartbreaker right there. That dive kick and the follow-up orbs, that was so clean. When you see her diving in like that, that was not... If